Hey guys, this is Logic Writer, and for today's A-B testing tool review, we'll be looking at Convert. Now, a bit of a disclaimer before we dive in. All we're looking for here is how simple it is to set up an A-B test and how affordable is the tool. Now, Convert is highly praised by customers, especially for its customer service and its advanced features. We're not going to be looking at that today. All we want to know is, is it easy to set up an A-B test and can we afford it? So without further ado, let's check out the pricing. Now over at the pricing page, we see Convert is definitely not geared towards individuals or very small businesses as the starting price point is around $600 a month and it goes up to something like $4,000 a month. But I'm definitely curious to see what the A-B testing experience is like. So we're going to sign up for a free trial and check it out. So I've signed up for Convert. They initially asked me what my role was. I said something like marketing manager. They sent me an email with a temporary password, which I had to use to create a new password. It was a little bit sinuous, but now we're up to the onboarding step and it's asking me what I want to do next. And we're just going to choose create new project because I want to see how it is to just start off fresh, how easy it is to create that AB test. So let's click this and see what happens. Now we have to name our project. I could just say something like test project. I'll be using my own domain. and I'll leave these options as they are. Okay, so this is the first thing I see once I pass the onboarding process. I'm not really sure where to go. There is no helpful hints. I'm sure if I read the documentation, I'll know exactly what these things are. But again, the purpose of this experiment is just to see how easy it is to create an A-B test. So I'm guessing that we have to click experiences because that's what they're called in Google Optimize. Okay, now let's create a new experience and see if that's correct. So we have several options and we're just going to choose A-B testing. Now for this test, we'll be A-B testing the main CTA button. So we can name this something like CTA button test. And we'll enter the URL we previously entered. Continue. Okay, so we've been dropped off into the visual editor right away. And I can see that our first variant has already been created. We have our original page and variation one. So we could just dive in and change the main CTA buttons copy. And let's see how easy this is to do. It seems pretty intuitive already. And let's change this. Save changes. Save and continue. So we're dropped off on the summary page where I see you can edit some of the settings such as objective, goals, and add more variations. So let's just explore this a bit. So objective seems to be just the description of your objective. And the goal, I actually did want to change the goal. I did not want it to be decreased bounce rate. But the point of this experiment is to actually test how many people go to the pricing page from my home page. So let's see how we can add that goal. So I see what I want is the first option, visit a specific page. So now again, my goal here is to see how many people click the button that heads to the pricing page. So we can name this goal pricing page and we'll enter the URL of the pricing page. Now we can see the goal was added and I see this little pin right here, make primary goal. That's exactly what we want to do. And I think we're about done with everything. So we could just press activate experience. So we're dropped off in the report page and we can see it's not exactly the cleanest overview, but we could still tell what's going on. So that's fine. My main question is why does the status say running when we haven't inserted our JavaScript snippet yet? Uh, usually in these A-B testing tools, you'll see some kind of pop-up or they'll ask you in the beginning to insert some JavaScript into your, your website header. However, I'm not seeing this anywhere here. So I will have to look around and find out where that is. So I did a bit of exploring and I finally found the snippet. Uh, so apparently the way you get to it is you click on projects, even though we're already kind of inside projects. Uh, and then you click on your test project 
then you go over to project settings and they should have the code snippet over here now I personally think they should have just had this at the beginning uh, but I did find it after about a minute of searching so it's not too bad and actually if we go back to the project and click on the experience we'll see a banner over here where you can actually view the code that you should insert into your website so they do remind you but again they should have done that in the beginning now again I want to remind you that this review only looked at the A-B testing setup experience and the affordability of the app and based on those two factors I would not choose convert I'd actually stick to my baseline Google optimize which is free and relatively simple to set up for basic A-B testing so take this review with a grain of salt. I'm only testing a specific subset of features. Not everything Convert has to offer. Thanks for joining me today and hit subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Till next time.